the whole process of photography is, is gratifying to me. Honestly, I think I like the shooting part the best, being out in the land, uh, seeing things that I haven't seen before. I'm a real explorer at heart. Growing up on a farm in Northwest Ohio didn't allow me the opportunity to travel. So taking off and, and doing these two or three week trips and really getting into the land is, is just awesome. I was a fine art major but took a couple of photography courses. One of them um, was more technically oriented and the other was more in the fine arts realm. Going way back before that, I can remember using my parents' Kodak, a little viewfinder on the top, would do the shots, send the film off for processing, and it would come back a week or two later and I'd see the little black and white prints. I remember shooting like the dog, and the house, uh, the snow, anything that was around me on the farm. I think that was the very beginning, but then like I said, college kind of took it to that next level. It was in 2001 when a friend asked me to go backpacking up along Lake Superior and he was talking about packing up his camera gear and I kind of put mine away for several years uh, while I raised a family. So not to be outdone, I pulled all that camera gear out and put it in the backpack, took off, uh, did some shooting while we were up there. When I came back, Nick Grant, who also worked at the TV station, asked if I'd want to do a two-person show at a coffee shop here in Bowling Green. So I did that and sold a few prints, and that was kind of the beginning of this business. Going through commercial design work was an occupation, and I enjoyed doing that. But I always had a love of art and a love for some of the old masters that did photography in the last century. I think studying them and seeing what they did has been the major inspiration for me through the years. I spend a lot of time on, online now looking at what contemporary photographers are doing and compare myself to them, you know, continually. I kind of combine the love of nature with the art of photography and it's just a win-win. When I'm out photographing, I shoot in the daytime and evenings are spent out there in the wilderness, so it's just um, something that's really dear to my heart. Actually, before I knew it was going to be a career, I was shooting um, close-up flowers and succulents um, and some landscapes. All of the work was color at the time and it wasn't until I took a workshop at the Ansel Adams Center um, where I transitioned to black and white. I feel that a black and white image is a bit removed from the world as we see it, so transferring that to black and white takes it into a different realm. My current work is all about the American landscape. I tend to isolate certain things that I want the viewer to see. I really enjoy the American West and Southwest, uh, specifically California, Southern Utah, Northern Arizona. I hope to get up into the Pacific Northwest and uh, Lake Superior uh, calls to me year after year. My first outdoor art fair was the Blackstone Arts Festival. I won a best of show. How I won that, I don't know, but it happened and it was a thrill and that was just the impetus to keep this whole thing going. For a few years after that, I was winning a lot of awards at art shows. I went to small art shows, uh, regional art shows. I've won uh, several awards in juried exhibitions. Uh, I was published in Black and White Magazine last year. That's always been uh, a goal of mine, so that was a thrill to see that happen. And then there was the Ansel Adams Award uh, that was in 2010. To a photographer, that was like winning a Pulitzer Prize. It was just really exciting. Awards are great, but many times it's the things that people tell me that mean just as much. I spent a lot of time looking at a, a composition, a subject before I decide on the composition. So I don't shoot as many images as many photographers, but I spend more time composing the images that I shoot. Then stepping back once a photo is, is finished and looking at the finished piece is pretty exciting. And hearing people's comments just makes it all worthwhile. And I'm humbled by it all. I think my art gives you an intimate view of the world that we all see on a daily basis. Everyone is so hurried that we don't take the time 
to see what I show you. And I think that's why many people are moved by scenes that I portray in, in my photography. Nature is really important to me. There's a lot to be shot out there, so I just want to get out there and, and shoot.